Hello and welcome to our BDTV Winter News Edition. I am Elliot and this is my co-host Hope. Let's take a look at what 2013 has brought for us in just these couple of weeks. Petition, this past month the Scholastic Bowl team started their season with many returning seniors and some new recruits. Senior competitor Tamara expresses her expectations for this year. My goals are to do my best at each competition and to answer whatever questions I can and try not to get too nervous when you like freeze and don't know what to say. The varsity team is considered tough competition this year coming in as the biggest team in the district. There's an ongoing conflict between Israel and Palestine right now that most Americans are unaware of. These conflicts have been lasting over 10 years and have led to 10,000 Palestinian men, women, and children being held in Israeli prisons, bloodshed, and possible U.S. involvement. What Americans were told was not going to affect us may be affecting us more than we thought. What I've been feeling to fight for Israel, it all depends on uh, the orders I get. I'm a soldier. At the end of the day, if my president wants me to go, then I have to go. The 007 of New Jersey is back again in theaters this February. Film legend Bruce Willis returns for another gritty action sequel to the Timeless Die Hard series. A good day to die hard takes our hero John McClane to Russia to help his son, who is secretly a CIA operative. Of course, the father and son team join to stop underworld forces who are trying to obtain nuclear weapons. This action and family film combination hands down makes the Bremen movie pick of the month. Well, thank you, Ernesto. And thank you for tuning in to our Winter News Edition. And make sure to check us out online at www.bdtv228.net. And follow us on Facebook by searching Berman District Television. Until next time, keep up those New Year's resolutions. Welcome to the holiday edition of Bremen Athletics. I'm Kelly and this is my co-host Nick. Before we introduce the winter sports, let's take a look back at the fall accomplishments. The Braves wouldn't have been able to tackle the season without head coach Dan Stell and team captains Devontae and Donald, along with key players Tyler, Court, David, and Ben. The Braves team avenged their loss to TF North this season and got five players to be all-conference, which were Tyler, Devontae, Corey, David, and Ben. Starting running back Devontae took all area. Recently, while being a star athlete and a great student, starting quarterback of the football team, Tyler Banovich, was selected to all-state academic team by the IHSA by having a 3.5 GPA and being an all-conference athlete. Keep it up, Tyler. Let's take a look at the boys' bowling team, who had a great season last year. The boys qualified as a team for sectionals, received the sportsmanship award, and had top 10 placements throughout the year. The boys have big goals for this season. Well, I see as a team, we will be going to state. Conference-wise, we'll probably finish first place, sectionals, first place. This year, the team is looking to get to the next level. The wrestling team had a very successful season last year, while they hope to dominate the match even more this season. The team is working very hard and pushing each other every day. Um, Team-wise, we're looking at a really strong team, both uh, middleweight, lowerweight, heavyweight. And I'm, I'm hoping that we have more than just four, uh, four state qualifiers this year. The team has big goals this season to keep getting better. Thank you for tuning in to the holiday edition of Bremen Athletics. Make sure you check us out online at www.bdtv.net. And like us on Facebook by searching Bremen District Television. Until next time, enjoy the holidays.